Hi, I'm Catherine Morales. I'm 84 years old and I was born in Philadelphia, PA. For fun, I love dancing. I used to rollerblade, ride horses, ride bikes. I don't know if they would call it concerts, but it was um it was a weekend where it was dancing. And they would bring in these singers. We go to the to the place where you dance and we would run up with them. I've seen Fax Domino, I've seen uh Chubby Checkers. I've seen the uh, Commodores. Um, Frank Sinatra was there one time. There were so many of them, you know, every week it was a, a new group. But it was good. I have 11 sisters and four brothers. It, it was sometimes. good to be raised up in that, that that time, but as long as you didn't have a mother who would beat your butt every time you turned around. And then because she hit you, she hit you an extra one, that's for your sister. So she asked me if Bud came in the house. And I told her, yeah. She just looked at Betty. She said, took in the arm with a fork, and she stabbed Betty in the arms with a knife. <laughs> and they had to go to hospital. <laughs> but doctors knew my mom. They knew her. Every time somebody would go to the hospital and say, uh-huh, you did wrong by your mother, huh? In my time, the neighborhood was good. I mean, there wasn't nothing like it is now. I worked. I worked in a sweater factory making sweaters. I worked in a bookbinder factory. I worked in restaurants. I had a <laughs> I had <laughs> I had a boyfriend yeah. before I met my husband. <laughs> I had a, I had, <laughs> I had a boyfriend yeah. before I met my husband. <laughs> but after, after my husband, I didn't have anybody. I called him Eddie. But his name was Inocencio Morales. I've been with him 52 years. While well, he lived around the corner where I lived. He used to, he didn't speak English when I met him. And I used to come from work and he'd be on the corner and you know how guys are at the time used to whistle and try to get your attention. You know, I, I never understood that, how we communicated, because I would say a lot of things to him, and he would say, see, see. Well, when my grandkids were born, they were my first, so I went crazy with taking pictures. I loved taking the pictures of the kids when they were little. Now that they're grown, 
I don't even bother with a camera anymore. And I don't like my pictures taken. Tell you that right now. My relationship with my grandkids are good. I love them all. My great grandkids, there's so many of them that I couldn't have them all in my house. It's just the thing about certain grandkids that you care for more than anything. And as they grow up, I'm proud of them because they they make something of themselves. They're respectful. My great achievements, having all of these grandkids, that's my achievement. They keep you alive. They keep you going. Without them, I wouldn't be here, I guess. I really I just hope to have, keep going on to have a good health. You know, let me live to like get to be 100. Whatever, <laughs> anything over 100, I would love God. Oh my goodness, just give me up. Let me live and live and live. <laughs> I don't want to die. <laughs> I'm too evil to die. <laughs>